This laser weapon can strike targets such as drones, rockets, and mortars. What a true next-generation laser system might look like. Laser weapons are a cutting-edge technology that many countries are pursuing to gain an advantage in modern warfare. These weapons can generate beams of concentrated light that can heat up and burn down targets such as drones, rockets, and missiles with high precision and low cost. One of the countries that has claimed to have developed and deployed laser weapons is Russia. According to top Kremlin officials, Russia has used a new laser system called Zadira to shoot down Ukrainian drones in the ongoing conflict. Russia also also says it has another laser system called Perisvet that can blind satellites in orbit. Of course, the U.S. has not been idle in the race for laser supremacy, and now the U.S. Army has just fielded its first laser weapon-equipped unit, which could change the dynamics of the battlefield. Join us as we discuss America's new iron beam laser tanks and how they're a game changer. The U.S. Army has made a remarkable achievement by fielding its first laser weapon-equipped unit, which people are already nicknaming as Iron Beam Laser Tanks. This weapon is likely to be the world's first operational laser-armed unit. This unit, which is based at Fort Sill in Oklahoma, consists of four Striker Infantry combat vehicles that are fitted with 50-kilowatt-class laser weapon systems. The Army has named this innovative integration of Striker and laser technology as DM Sherrod, which stands for Directed Energy Maneuver Short-Range Air Defense. This name reflects the main features and functions of the system, which can use its powerful laser to shoot down both drones and airborne artillery, such as mortars and rockets that pose threats to friendly forces. The four vehicles that make up the DM Sherrod unit are specially modified versions of the Stryker Infantry Combat Vehicle, which is a versatile and mobile platform that can carry troops and weapons across various terrains. The term directed energy refers to the ability of the laser to focus its energy on a specific point, while maneuver indicates that the laser is mounted on a movable vehicle that can change its position and orientation according to the situation. The short-range air defense, part of the name, describes the primary mission of the system, which is to provide protection against low-flying aerial threats that may escape or overwhelm other air defense systems. The DM Sherrod vehicles are also equipped with a double-hull design, which is an improved version of the original Striker hull that provides enhanced protection against improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, and ground explosions that may damage or disable disable the vehicle. Additionally, the vehicles have their own power generator that can supply enough electricity to operate the laser weapon system as well as equipment for detecting, tracking, and targeting aerial threats. This equipment includes sensors, radars, cameras, and computers that can scan the sky for potential enemies and guide the laser beam toward them with high accuracy and speed. The new weapon system uses a laser as its main weapon to counter various aerial threats. The laser works by focusing a powerful beam of laser light onto a target, creating a tremendous amount of heat that can destroy or disable the target in different ways. The laser beam is so hot that it can be compared to a tightly focused flamethrower that can melt or burn anything in its path. The laser is especially effective against flying drones, which are becoming more common and dangerous in modern warfare. The laser can damage or incapacitate drones in several ways, depending on the type and design of the drone. For example, it can burn the wings or rotors of a drone, causing structural failure and leading to its crash. It can also obliterate a drone by destroying its internal electronics, rendering any onboard cameras used by human operators useless. In some cases, particularly with drones using fuel-based engines, it can even ignite the fuel, resulting in the drone's explosion. The DM Sherrod is designed to be attached to friendly maneuver forces, such as columns of Abrams tanks, Bradley fighting vehicles, or Stryker infantry combat vehicles. These forces may be vulnerable to aerial attacks from drones drones or enemy artillery. This laser system can scan the skies for enemy drones and quickly engage and eliminate them when they are detected. Additionally, the DM Sherrod's laser is capable of intercepting enemy artillery, such as rockets and mortar rounds that may be fired at friendly forces. In a successful test conducted in May of 2022, the DM Sherrod's laser effectively intercepted incoming artillery rockets and mortar rounds, demonstrating its potential to enhance the survivability and lethality of friendly forces. The ability to intercept enemy artillery projectiles on the battlefield is a unique and unprecedented feature that gives the new laser-equipped striker vehicles a significant advantage over other air defense systems. No other army in the world has ever deployed such a capability before, which can effectively counter the threat of enemy artillery fire, such as rockets, mortars, and howitzers. 
In the past, it was technically possible to use expensive guided missiles to intercept less expensive unguided artillery rounds, but this approach was impractical for battlefield use as it would quickly deplete the missile inventory and incur a high cost for each interception. For instance, Israel's Iron Dome defense system employs missiles that cost between $40,000 to $50,000 each to intercept rockets that are only worth about $300 to $800 apiece. This cost disproportion is somewhat justified because most of the enemy targets Iron Dome defends are civilian stationary and there are no alternative means to protect them from rocket attacks. The new laser-equipped striker vehicles, on the other hand, offer a more efficient and cost-effective solution for defenders against enemy artillery projectiles. Although the initial purchase price of DM Sharad's is high, the cost per shot is equivalent to the expense of diesel fuel needed to generate the electricity for the laser. This means that, unlike systems reliant on individual munitions like guns or missiles, the laser can keep firing as long as it has fuel to power its generator, making it more sustainable and economical in the long run. The Army has assigned the initial four DM Sherrod vehicles to Delta Company, 4th Battalion, 60th Field Artillery Regiment, which is based at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. The regiment's motto is, We Rule the Heavens. This motto reflects the regiment's mission to provide air defense for friendly forces against enemy aerial threats, such as drones and artillery projectiles. It's unclear how many more of these laser-equipped striker vehicles will be deployed by the Army in the future, but recent drone attacks that resulted in the destruction of modern main battle tanks in both Ukraine and Israel have highlighted the critical need for drone defense in NATO and Western armies. Drones are becoming more common and dangerous in modern warfare as they can carry explosives, cameras, or weapons that can target and damage enemy forces. In a recent incident, a $500 drone carrying an $800 PG-7B anti-tank rocket effectively disabled a $4 million Merkava 4 tank belonging to the Israeli Defense Forces. This event underscores the fact that, despite any desire to attribute Russian losses solely to incompetence, drones have the potential to neutralize even the most advanced and professionally operated tanks in modern armies. Therefore, having a system like the DM Sherrod that can quickly and efficiently shoot down drones before they can cause harm is essential for maintaining the survivability and lethality of friendly forces. The emergence of battlefield drones has been truly remarkable as they have revolutionized the modern warfare by providing new capabilities and challenges for both attackers and defenders. What's interesting about these drones is that as they become more advanced and pose greater threats, they are also becoming more affordable and easier to deploy in larger quantities. This means that drones can be used for various purposes, such as reconnaissance, surveillance, targeting, strike, or swarm attacks by different actors, such as state or non non-state actors in different scenarios such as conventional or asymmetric warfare. To counter this trend effectively, a weapon is needed that can rapidly and cost-effectively intercept these drones before they can cause harm to friendly forces or assets, and the DM Sherrod stands as a promising solution to this challenge as it is a system that combines a top-class laser weapon with a striker infantry combat vehicle. Laser weapons have some advantages over traditional ballistic weapons. For one, laser weapons minimize collateral damage, only taking out the intended target. They also reduce the risk of leaving unexploded ordnance on the battlefield. Laser weapons are also very stealthy and fast. They are invisible to the naked eye, travel at the speed of light, and can be adjusted for any atmospheric conditions. Finally, laser weapons offer logistical and financial benefits. They do not require heavy ammunition or expensive missiles, only a power source. They also reduce the cargo and equipment needed for troop movements. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.